They will pay for what they have done. Sata calls wrath, Wayfarer. Unless you want to wade through an army of undead, go no further. These dogs, the Withered Hand, they seized control of Tuwaka's throne, and now they are raising the consecrated dead. How is this even possible? The Anse Wards, stolen. There is no way. The impervious vault, how? This does explain how they raise the consecrated dead, though. It also explains why Tuwaka is so angry. He speaks to me. He says the temple must be cleansed. And now... Oh, Tuwaka will do the cleansing. We must only clear the way. If you will help me light the sacred braziers, Tuwaka will send his breath to help us destroy the Withered Hand and return the dead to the sand. For each direction the wind blows, there is a brazier. Light the first three and meet me at the west brazier. I will light that one. Then we will light the central brazier together and soon see Uwafa and his withered hand destroyed. We do not know. There is no record of these defenses ever being used. All I can recall is reading that it is supposed to help cleanse the temple and return the dead to their rest. Uncertainty is part of the fun, though, right? This man is very dangerous. He is the leader of these withered hand dogs. He offered me the chance to leave peacefully. I wanted to protect my fellow priests, but we could not surrender to Waka's sacred ground without a fight. Tuwaka is the caretaker of the far shores. We will all visit him one day. The throne is the final resting place of our honored ancestors. Our heroes have been buried here for centuries. It is terrible that their rest has been disturbed. This is not good. Not good at all. I've killed a skeleton or two in my day, but this... this is worse than that. We are going to need more Ashaba. You? I'm pretty good with faces, but I don't know yours. You must have just joined then. Either way, welcome to the tribe. It's good that you're here. Do you understand why I am concerned? Some of the greatest heroes in history are buried here. Kings, queens, legendary warriors. If they've risen, it is a Shaba duty to kill them, and that's not going to be easy. There is. I maintain vigil here to ensure that certain ancient heroes, let's just say, if they're raised, that's a problem. With what's happened here, I need someone to check their graves. If they're up and about, they need to be put down. Thank you. This is no small thing, I ask, and I appreciate you stepping up. The three graves I need you to check belong to Amish Arena, Yokida Razul, and Queen Afsar. They changed the course of history. They deserve to rest now. I'll mark the graves' locations on your map. I'd go with you, but I have to watch and ensure they don't slip by. There are other Ashaba who can join you, though. You want one skilled in swordplay? Or one who's adept at restoration magic. Very smart. I've rarely seen her equal with a blade. Let her keep the heroes occupied, and perhaps you can use magic to send them back to the sand. There are many heroes buried here, to be sure. But these three are the ones Ashaba scholars are most concerned about. They were extremely powerful in life and scholars fear they could be extremely dangerous in death. Rina was an Arminger in the Order of the Agna, who died in the final days of the Siege of Orsinium. She was born in the siege camp there and spent her entire 26 years fighting the Orcs. They say it was her sacrifice that brought us victory. Razul fought alongside Divad Hunding, leading the Regatta to conquer Alakir. 
When the Natotembu and the Yokudan nobility came later, Razul made himself Yokida to cement the power of the Regatta. Some call him the first forebear. Yes, she seized the throne the ancient way. Late in the first era, the king died with no heir and the nobles squabbled over the throne. Afsar solidified her rule by killing the opposition. Despite its bloody start, her reign was very peaceful. Done well, Wayfarer. Tuwaka is pleased. Very soon, it is like Tuwaka is taking in the air and preparing to send his breath. The withered hand here will soon crumble, and the particles will drift away like sand in the wind. Tuwaka says you will have the pleasure of killing this Uwafa. With his help, of course. First, you must light the final brazier over there. Then, Tuwaka's breath will come. Uwafa has sealed himself inside the sanctum with my priests. I fear for them, but Tuwaka will help us. He will unseal the doors. Then you can go in and kill this necromancer bastard. Are you ready to witness the power of a god, my friend? Go now, and light the final brazier. Do not fear the power of Tuwaka. 
you and I, we are his champions in this. Oh yes, we cannot forget those. If this Uwafa has them, we will soon get them back. Even with the Anse wards, Uwafa is no match for the strength of a god. Of course, all priests of Tuwaka know such things. The wards were forged when three Anse gave their lives to channel their spirits into their blades. They did this so that the wards would protect the consecrated dead. In the hands of these necromancers, the strength of the Anse wards is much weakened. With some magics, they might even be able to pervert the ward's power for terrible ends. It is good that we will soon have them back. Keeper of souls, hear the prayer of your humble servant. Your sacred grounds have been defiled. The rest of our ancestors have been disturbed. I ask you to send your sacred breath to cleanse the temple and give us your blessing to destroy the defiler. He I has cannot given follow his blessing. you into Tawaka's Go sanctum. into the inner sanctum and elsewhere. kill Uwafa! in my ward is gone, but the other wards, you must find them. Proud. Tuwaka says that you smote this Uwafa mightily. You recovered the ward of Anse Radan as well. The temple is restored, and Alakir is safer. Tuwaka is pleased. Tuwaka says you should not worry. He says you will find them. I can watch over the ward of Anse Radan for now. Tuwaka has much faith in you, my friend. He wants me to give you this. You should be honored. I do not know where the other Anse wards have been taken, but Tuwaka tells me that you must go east, my friend. He says that is the next step on your journey. No, Tuwaka is quiet now. He is not worried about you. He is more worried about me getting the temple cleaned up. I have a suggestion, though. I think you should start your search in the city of Bergama. There is a great scholar in Bergama. Her name is Zore. 
She knows much about the Anse wards. She may have the answers we seek. Wherever you go, Tuwaka will be with you. Of that, I am certain. There's no need for me to ask whether the heroes had been raised when you found them. I only need to know, are they now at rest? Then you fulfilled the duty of the Ashaba here, and saved me a dung heap of trouble. As we Ashaba always say, true honor need not be named. I hope we cross paths again. <laughs> <laughs> 